Hey guys, um, today I'm going to be showing you how to jailbreak a 3.0 iPod Touch or iPhone. Um, this works for all of them, except I don't know about the 3GS iPhone, so if you have that, you might want to look into it before you follow this tutorial. But uh, as you can see, I have the 3.0 firmware. You need this to jailbreak it, obviously. Um, this, that's just for the people that don't know. Um, this is the Spotlight feature in 3.0. Um, I'm just showing you that I have it. So, uh, before you get started, you might want to download that. So, Alright, so let's get started. Your uh, iPod does need to be plugged into the computer for this to work, so go ahead and do that. Alright, to do this, you're going to need two things uh, that you need to download. The first one is the um, IPSW uh, recovery file. Um, it's You can download it on, um, on a website that I can give you um, right here. I'll, get, I'll provide the link in the description. Um, it's pretty much you're gonna what you're gonna do is you're gonna scroll down to the bottom uh, where it says iPhone and iPod Touch, and then this little drop-down menu will have a bunch of firmwares. Um, the way to do this is kind of read left to right. So at the top you're gonna see uh, iPhone, and then you're gonna scroll down until you see iPod Touch, and then you're gonna go to the next thing and see I see 1G and that's the first generation for the iPod Touch and since I have an iPod Touch first generation uh, I'm gonna move on to the next and uh, to the right you can see the firmwares that are available for you to download so I'm gonna go ahead and download um, iPod Touch first generation uh, 3.0 since we're jailbreaking 3.0 I've already downloaded so we don't have to wait for me to download this because it does take a while um, the other thing you need is a program called Red Snow, and that will come in a zip folder. And so what you're going to do is you're going to open it in WinRAR, WinZip, whatever you have, and then uh, extract it to your desktop or wherever you're putting all these files. Since you don't need any of the other files, since they're all like readmes and the license and everything, um, you can go ahead and drag the file to wherever you're keeping all this stuff. Alright, so go ahead and open the program. Uh, if you're in Vista, right click and run it as the administrator so uh, it doesn't encounter any problems because it doesn't have enough permissions or something like that. So I advise you to run it as the administrator. So you're going to get this and you're going to hit the browse button and browse for your recovery file. It'll validate everything and then you can just go ahead and click next and it'll do th some things in the progress bar. Uh, it's going to give you two options, and since the last time I jailbroke my iPod was a while ago, um, I have no idea what Icy is, so I'm not going to install it. You can go ahead, it's probably just another installer that installs apps or whatever, but since I don't know what it is, I'm not going to bother installing it, and since I'm used to Cydia, I'll just leave it. So go ahead and click Next. Um, the program will tell you to turn off your iPod, so if it isn't already, uh, turn it off and also connect it to uh, your computer. After you're done with that, you're going to go ahead and click the next button. Um, and then you'll be prompted to uh, hold the power button for two seconds. So go ahead and do that. And then you're uh, going to hold the home button for ten seconds. After that ten seconds is up, you're going to let go of the power button and then you're uh, going to keep holding the home button. Now, um, once it starts doing this stuff, I uh, let go of the square, or the, I mean the home button, and uh, it did fine. But once it's at the screen the iPod's at, you can definitely let go of your uh, home button. So once it's uh, at this screen, you uh, really can't do anything you're just gonna let it go ahead um, so just let it sit here and uh, you can it's gonna be a while maybe two or three minutes not not too long and uh, you're just gonna let it go through its screens uh, the iPod screen will change so don't be surprised Uh, now you can see the little pineapple uh, from uh, Winpone. 
from uh, earlier jailbreaks, so it's gonna do some things, but uh, it's your iPod's still gonna have to sit here. Um, just watch the progress bars. Um, I've sped it up for the past 10 seconds maybe so it goes a little faster um, so it'll move through the screens and then eventually your iPad will restart so go ahead and let it restart uh, this boot up will take a little longer than most of them so just be patient so once it's done restarting you'll get the little slide to unlock so go ahead and unlock it and you'll, you'll be greeted with the 3.0 uh, new install message and now you have a uh, 3.0 I had Cydia there but you can't really see it but there you go so enjoy your uh, jailbroken iPod